uh, in this video, um, I figured I'd sort of take you through uh, this DJI drone that I got a couple of months ago. Now, when drones first came out years ago, all my friends who knew me were like, of course you're going to get a drone, you're going to get into it. But I knew it would be like a bottomless pit. Uh, <laughs> so I didn't touch any drone stuff for years. And then my friend DC kept saying, actually starting a couple of years ago, you know, you should get a drone, we've got to get a drone. Do this, do that. And I was like, nah. And then finally, this year I succumbed. <laughs> so we got a drone. At first we got one to share, but now we both love it so much. He's flying his. I had to get another one for me. <laughs> just so we didn't like just kept saying like, oh, I don't care. You take it, you take it. So, and I'm glad I'm w I've waited because uh, all the stuff I would have like fussed over, I've spent time on trying to get right. Um, they've now been able to, I mean, DGI has been able to um, really solve a lot of the problems in a big way. So it's very easy just to take it out and fly, as I'm going to show you uh, here right now. And there are a lot of uh, drone videos on YouTube, but I feel like many of them still start from a basis of, <laughs> you know something about drones. This isn't really, I would not call this a drone. Um, I mean, it is a drone, don't get me wrong. Uh, but what it really is functionally is a, a flying camera. And with this flying camera, when you connect your cell phone to the um, controller, because this actually is the thing that controls the, the drone through radio, uh, you can tell this drone to go where you want it to go. And a lot of it it does through GPS in a sense. You don't really see the GPS, but that's how it's working. So that's why many people call it a GPS drone, because it'll have like, you know, 20 drone uh, sorry, tw 20 uh, GPS satellites talking to it and through that all these GPS satellites in various parts of the sky can triangulate exactly where it is. And that's why once you take off it will record those GPS locations and when you, if you get flustered or can't figure it out you can hit the return to go home and it will come back. It will use whatever computers and <laughs> the last known GPS uh, location and it will fly itself back. Um, okay, so start taking it, taking it, uh, getting it ready. So there's a uh, now. Why this can do such good video is it has is the camera here is on a gimbal. It's on a physical gimbal, so it has both stabilization and flight that it's trying to stabilize the drone, but then it's also stabilizing the camera separate from the drone, and then there's electronic stabilization. And you put all these three things together, and the video you get, at least I've been able to get out of I feel, is just amazing. Uh, you can use these only for photography only, or both. I just use it for video. I wish it wasn't so windy today. Well, that's another amazing thing you're going to see, is that even though it's windy, the drone will actually uh, do fairly well. So, um, we, uh, I pull out the little thingies on the thing, and to turn it on, you press once. Once it tells you the battery, and there is no battery. So take the take a battery out of my container here. Put the battery in out of the charger. Press once. It shows me four bars, so it's fully charged. And then press again, hold it until you get a beep and you hear it just sort of like you know do its thing. And then I'll just put it even right here. Uh, what shape? I'll just put it right here next to me on the step. Now with the uh, I'm turn on the. Uh, on the drone controller. Again, this is what controls the drone. And in a sense, the your your cell phone just works as like sort of like a so you can video see what is coming back from the drone through a video feed that again comes wirelessly. And when I plug in the USB to the camera, it's set up that the DJI drone app Really, I shouldn't even call it drone. The DJI flying camera app <laughs> will connect to the, I don't know if you can see that, it connects to the drone, it sees it, and um, it says, Do you want to do go fly? I'm going to hit go fly. And uh, it says GPS signal weak, max altitude 492 feet. This is another thing about this. It's really made to keep you out of trouble. So some people may chafe at some of the restriction it's it puts on you but I, I like it 
um, because again, I just want to come out here and take take video or photographs. I don't really want to worry about uh, losing the drone or crashing it. Um, it shows you the feet away from you. It shows you how high you are um, in a direction. Um, anyway, I, I'm going to start recording right now and explain to you why this is sort of cool for another hobby of mine, which is economics. So we can use this drone for me to explain some things that are interesting to me uh, about the world, politics, economics, life, whatever. All right, so I'm going to hit record. I'm going to hold both joysticks down. That does have an auto takeoff. I'm not going to do that. And then you're going to hit. And now uh, the things are spinning, so I'm going to take it off, take it up. And I'm just going to move the camera here so you can see the drone. All right, now I'm going to fly the drone down. Now, uh, one of the new regulations is you can't fly over people. Um, so I see this uh, woman, a uh, uh, mother and her daughters, or a nanny and her daughters coming. So I'm going to wait till they leave, and then I'll I'll move move out. First, we'll go a little bit higher. Now I'm going to turn around. <laughs> I always get this like t when you look at the drone and you move the joystick, it's in reverse to what you would see on the camera. And now I'm going to move forward. I see some people coming, so I need to pull it out away from them. And uh, I'm going to do one time zoom. And you can see on the on the right, there's a um, uh, there's this construction. So there's a restaurant here, and the pandemic is really winding down, right? I mean, I I've got both my vaccine shots. Almost everybody I know has. So, so everybody's been vaccinated. Um, so why, but as you can see, they're building that thing. So why are they building this outdoor structure uh, when, uh, so I'm gonna go, okay, so I see this wire, so I'm gonna go above it. And now the beautiful thing is that, actually I might be above the wire, so I'm gonna come back. Whoa, whoa, no. I'm in front of the wire. Now, this is how I've already crashed it. <laughs> is that when you see it in the distance and you see trees or wires, you can't really get a good idea of whether it's before or behind them. So you do have to be a little bit careful. Now, I can move the gimbal down a little bit of the camera. So now I'm moving the gimbal down. And now I'm going to go back up again. Oh, that was forward. Now, if I hit that wire, the, gimbal, the, the, the drone probably would have crashed. Uh, and it would have fallen about 20 feet. So now I'm like moving it up while moving the, um, the, uh, the gimbal down. So I'm not really getting what I wanted to get. Anyway, so why this is interesting to me is that they're building all this, um, again, when the pandemic is really winding down, because they want to double the space of their restaurant, which is what I would do, right? Because when things lift, they need to make up a lot of lost income. So they're essentially doubling the size of their, their restaurant. Um, and it's also changing the dynamics, right, of these cities because there's less parking, less cars, more of these restaurants. I think it's a good thing. but. I've gone by restaurants, for instance, let me turn the drone around so we can see some other, um, uh, some other construction that's happened. Well, there you see a tent behind, um, post that, behind that restaurant. I'm, I won't be surprised if that stays up. Uh, because, you know, an argument could be made that we should have allowed restaurants to um, to see more people outside even before the pandemic, that this is where we want cities to go. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's a, um, uh, that, that turquoise um, 
uh, structure is outside a restaurant. They got a ticket, and the ticket said, from Somerville, you know, this is illegal or whatever, or you're going to get fined a thousand dollars a day. It's really like a nasty note, and it's like, <laughs> it's like I'm going to work for the people. You know, it's hard not to get. <laughs> It's hard to be young and not become a conservative when you read these types of things because um, it's really, well, like the, the government should work for you. It works for us. It works for these restaurants. No need to leave, leave nasty things. Anyway, I'm getting beyond economics. Uh, I'm going to turn it off two times. So this is how far we really are from the structure there. Again, you can see how well it was, how it was easy for me to take video of this thing that's far away. So I'm going to come back now. Uh, well, I'm probably going to land right over here. I'm not going to try and land on the steps here. That's probably too dangerous. So I'm going to just start coming down. Uh, oops. Now again, I thought I was coming down. It looked like I was coming down, but it was actually moving backwards. <laughs> so... Um, but it looks like coming down, right? Because of the angles. So now I'm going to come down. There's a guy there. We move over. Now, I wasn't moving over, I was going up. But it looked like I was moving over. So I really haven't learned how to fly this really well. But like I said, what the great thing about it is that it stays stable. I don't really have to worry about it, you know, going on its side and flipping out of the air or, or anything like that. Like it will keep its position. Okay, now I'm coming down. And the beauty about this is that it will, when it sees the ground, it has a one bottom sensor. When it detects the ground, it goes into auto landing mode, so I can't screw it up. You can hear, you maybe hear the beep, but so it landed and it turned off. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video about my, my flying camera and how easy it is to use my flying camera. Time to go get the drone. All right, well, here she is, safe and sound. So when she comes back, I just press once and then twice and hold until I get the beeps. Now it's just, uh, takes really uh, no time at all to, uh, to fold it back up. And then the same thing with the, uh, with the camera. I'm just gonna turn this off, unplug it, and we're good. So if you're interested in photography or video, taking photos from the air, um, then this is all I think you'll ever want or need. It's all I ever want or need. I love shopping camera equipment. But I can tell you I haven't looked at any of the more expensive drones. I haven't spent even a, a, 10 minutes on looking at any for months because I get so much out of this and every day I'm getting more out of it. I can't imagine. I may even come close and my feeling of tapping what I can do with this um, photographically and filmmaking wise. Um, because there's an art to how you move it, the joysticks, how you move it, composition, you know, all the normal things of photography and video. Um, it's uh, really, it's, um, uh, I, I, can't, I can't rave about this anymore. And again, because at this point, this Mini 2, they've, they just, you know, they can, I don't, I don't think they can make it any more idiot proof, actually. I mean, maybe a little bit, but it's just, it's just so there. Um, and it really allows me to focus on the photo and the video and the storytelling. Um, and I'm glad I waited because now I can put all the energy into that and not into like figuring out why the transmitter isn't working or the thing is unbalanced or the software, this or that. I can just take it out and fly. Hi, okay, um, so I'm going to show you um, what the joysticks do on the um, DJI, again, how simple it is, um, by flying it inside 
my little office here, um, <laughs> which is probably a very stupid idea because of all kinds of nonsense around here, including my wife's um, treadmill that she doesn't use anymore. And, you know, what am I, I told you so. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, let's get this going. Start the drone. And it's going to say you're near uh, Logan Airport, but I don't think I'm going to hit Logan Airport <laughs> from my, my apartment here. All right, so this is up and down. So I'm going to push this up a little bit. Until, yeah, so you, see, you can see the drone right there, right? So again, look at this. So I'm going to put this up, down. Up. Oh, and before I do this to sync the audio, let me clap. Now I can sync with the drone footage. Okay. Back to where we were. All right. Now, if I want to turn the drone, I can go this way. See, so as it turned, it goes one way. And if I move this now to the right, it'll move the drone to the right. I could, I could even just turn it all the way around. Right? Move it back again. Right, it's very simple. You see, I don't have to do anything. It, it stays there. It's not hard. <laughs> if I wanted to go up, I move this joystick up. If I want to move down, joystick down. If I want to turn to the left, one way turns to the right, the other way. The tricky thing about flying this in practice is when you're looking at the screen here and you turn, let's say I turn right, right, so that's turning left as I'm looking at it. So when I go to go left, I gotta go right, but if I'm looking on the screen here, it's going the other way. So you sort of need to remember in your head, just like driving a car that's different going forward and going reverse when you're moving the, uh, the wheel. All right. Uh, so next thing is th this thing. <laughs> Sorry, this uh, this joystick on the right, and um, this is forward. If I move this. Whoa, right. I can move this a little bit even forward, and then I can move to the side. If I move this left or right, whoops. Now I'm going to move it down a little bit. Right, so you're seeing, you're seeing well, let me move this back. So I'm going to move it back. I'm going to put this back here. Right, I'm pulling this one down a little bit. That's back, goes back. And this goes forward. Whoa! Almost crashed the drone there and probably would have. These blades can be sharp. You don't want to hit them. And then on this one, if I, I can go left. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whether it's my left or your left, you see it goes side to side this way. And it goes side to side this way. Now the trick, it's really easy to fly the drone. What's not easy, and which I think is going to take me a while to learn, is you want to make moves in combination. Oh, the other thing is the gimbal. So let me get the, that's this thing right here. I can move the camera. This thing right here, I can move the camera up and down. So let me get that closer to you. Uh, actually, let's just focus this so it's uh, okay. Now I'm going to bring it down a teeny bit. Move forward. I don't know how well you can see the, uh, this should be in product mode. Okay, so moving the camera gimbal down. You seeing it move it down? It's probably not easy to see. Here I can move it up. And again, let me, I'm going to back it up a little bit.
So what you really want to do, what, well, I'm sorry, what I really want to do is I want to get it in combination moves. So like, let's say I want to sweep it around. So I need to, um, why is this, I don't think the camera's in, there it is, yeah. So I want to sweep it into um, two movements at the same time. I want to move to the left like this, sorry, to, like this way. And I also want to turn it around. So I want to go, like turning, you see how it's turning and going left. And then many of the moves I want to get for the shots, these video shots, is I want to move the gimbal too. So I'm, I'm wanting to, uh, let me see. So I want to move the camera like, move the drone like this while twisting it, while moving the gimbal down. So that means like operating all these joysticks, three things at the same time, it takes a lot of practice. I haven't even gotten close to being good there yet. Um, so it's a mistake to think of these drones as, um, even these easy drones, GPS is not, requiring a lot of uh, skill or creativity in getting certain shots. So I really feel like I'll never outgrow this drone. I'll always be learning how to just make new shots with it. I mean, new movements with it, how to fly it well. I still make mistakes. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the, um, uh, I just wanted to uh, show you, you know, for you to see the connection between moving the the joysticks around. While I'm here, I might as well say, here's the return to home. Here are modes. You can go do cine, which is slow, normal, sport. You can go fast. Um, there's a button here. You can take a photo. This is the gimbal, but that's really it. I would really say that there are only, for my purposes, there are only three knobs here. There's the, 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 the two joysticks and the gimbal thing here. That's it. That's all I'm really thinking about when I'm flying. And then I might put on sport if I want to get somewhere quickly. Or put on Cine if I want it to sort of move slowly. And these actually can all be customized in the menu here, but that's a whole other advanced subject. All right, well, time to, time to, now, again, like I said, the drone will, oops, will, will land itself once it sees the ground. And move it forward right over here. Now I'm going to go down. Make sure I'm going over the floor. You hear beep. See, you used its sensor. Oh, well, actually, might as well just pick it up. There we are. Here I am. So you could actually almost use this as like a little DJI <laughs> camera if you wanted. Like, here. Yeah. Look how well that gimbal works. amazing so you know if you don't want to get like a DJI pocket you could you could also use the uh, the drone in that way right I mean it's just uh, this uh, it just stays locked on me does a really good job see I'm moving with my, my arms I can walk around I don't need to fly it all right that's enough fooling around